Howdy y'all, I've got a new method for drying bees that have been collected as part of a monitoring program. Or really any collecting. Um, so if perchance you've seen any of my past videos, there's been a variety of other methods that can be used to wash and dry bees with the idea of getting them nice and fluffy to be pinned uh, on a specimen. Normally the previous methods have involved actually washing them with soapy water. And then when they're all wet with water, it's more of a challenge to dry them off. In our recent experiences, we've seemed to find that this washing step in the way that we've collected them is not that necessary or necessary at all. Um, in all of our collections, we either collect straight into alcohol or they're in soapy water in a trap and then in alcohol. So they're kind of washed already in a way. Um, they and so the challenge is just to get them to be dry and fluffy. So this new method cuts out the washing completely. What we have is specimens that are stored in alcohol. And um, this is assuming if they were mixed with other bees, like from a trap, we've sorted them out to be just bees. So the first step is to take uh, specimens that are in alcohol and you have some kind of screen. This is a mesh screen that goes on top of a Mason jar, any screen that can catch all the specimens is good. We just need to sieve those out. So we have our bees like this. Um, they can still hold quite a bit of liquid on there. So next is just to have a bunch of paper towels on hand to dab them dry. So you can do that from below, it absorbs, dab them dry from above, you know, put some pressure on it, get as much of the alcohol off as possible. So we're dabbing that dry, and then the next step is to make a little envelope um, to, uh, for the final drying stage. So these paper towels are really nice because they have this fold built into it already. So we just take our bees that are dabbed dry on our screen and plop them down into the middle of our paper towel like this. Of course, every batch of specimens has a label of some sort, super important. If you lose the label, all this is for nothing. So we have a label. Um, we're now using these nifty little mini codes. So just make sure that that is in your little batch of specimens like that. And with these paper towels that have a fold, you just fold it over to the left, fold it over to the right, and then up and down. So now we have like a little envelope of bees where they're not gonna fall out. And from here, if there's not a whole lot of bees in there, I found that if you just basically just let this sit for five, 10 minutes, they'll dry off. If you're doing a lot of um, samples at once or have a really big sample, you can alternatively take a hair dryer and blow dry on the outside for a little bit until they're fluffed up. Um, so I will let, yeah, so after that, most of the time I've found that they actually are pretty fluffy just sitting in there. You can shake them around a little bit. If they're very dry and feel like they need a little bit of more fluff, what you can do is just pour them out into like a petri dish or a jar and then just give them a shake around and hopefully that'll fluff up the dry hairs. And that's it. How much easier is that compared to washing and drying and blow drying in a jar and all that? Goodbye.